This is an antique, original Joe Mora Indians of North America poster. States to around the early 1900s, I believe. And I've seen pristine versions of this poster go for a few thousand dollars. This one here is not pristine, it's anything but. It's got some stains and watermark, or water stains going on. It's very faded. It is original, I believe. It says Joe Mora, Monterey, California, down there. It's got the copyright year in here. And this one here I got at an auction with another Native American poster. Um, it's actually a classroom map dating to around 1930s. I haven't actually listed that yet, but I'm hoping I'll get a few hundred for that. This one here I had it listed for $350, and I took a best offer of $245. And it's a relatively large piece. I believe it's about 20 something inches tall and at least 20 across. So shipping is going to be a little challenging. It's going to have to ship dimensionally because it's mounted on this uh, kind of backer board. So I'm not going to be able to just roll it up. So they paid $38.60 to ship this to California. So I'm hoping I actually put the dimensions in correctly and uh, I'm reimbursed for shipping and it's not going to cost me any more than that. A couple of old books sold. These are going to two different people. The first one is Wanted, a Chaperone. And this is a book from, uh, I think it's 1902. And uh, it's, got, it's got interesting printing. It's like a chromo, chromograph. Anyhow, this one here sold on Bonanza, my first sale on Bonanza in quite a while, for Actually, no, sorry, no, this one here sold on eBay, and for some reason I had best offer on it. I might have had it for $20, and someone made a best offer of $13. I don't normally do best offers for inexpensive things like this. Anyhow, I took their offer of $13 just to kind of move it out. And this second book here sold on Bonanza. It's Tom Swift. If you've seen my other videos, you know I've, I bought a bunch of these at auction for not that much, and I've been selling them slow and steady for the last, I don't know, eight months or so. This one here sold for $23. Another cast iron Victorian swing arm sconce sold. This would have been used to hold a glass kerosene lantern. It would be in here. This would be mounted to the wall. It's got the original hanger. I come across these at auctions all the time and they don't go for much. I can usually get them for $2 to $5. Sometimes I'll get a handful of them. And they're kind of a slow and steady seller. I typically get about 30 bucks a piece for them. This one here sold for $34.95. These are three Black Beauty capacitors. These are kind of vintage electronic components. And these are what are considered poles because they've been used already. And you can see they have, the, they have some solder already on the uh, leads. So these were probably removed from some device. I sold tons and tons of these back about three years ago when I bought a large lot of vintage electronic components at an auction. And I don't really have too much of it left. I'm getting down to it. And these three here sold for $9.95 each and they are being shipped off to Russia. These are some antique Civil War buttons. They're made out of bone. There are 28 of them here if I counted them correctly. And they just have two holes in them, and you can see they've got kind of a very natural, organic look to them. And these just came in a pantry box that I bought. It was full of buttons, so I just gathered up these. Actually, they were already gathered up on this string. I just counted them, photographed them, and listed them. Not a ton of money. These sold for $7.99. This is a vintage cross-stitch stocking pattern kit kind of thing. It's got all the yarn in there. And this has not been used, it's not been opened. I got this at a church tag sale, probably paid a quarter. I think I got two of them in there, maybe, or a quarter a piece, or maybe a quarter for both of them. I forget, it was a very good deal, and I put these up, I have two of them. They're both up for $21.95, and this is the first one that sold. I bought these like three years ago, I never got around to listing them. Finally listed them this past summer, so I'm glad to see one of them sold. This is a not terribly exciting stoneware crock. It's probably 19th century. It's a salt glazed whiskey jug. It's about one gallon in size. It's got some stains on it, and it, but relatively it's in pretty decent condition. Not too bad. Not terribly exciting, as I said. I really don't 
go after these too much, but this one came in a lot with some a bunch of other things, and I just didn't have the heart to throw it away, and I really didn't like it to keep for myself. So this one here, I put up for $25, and it sold. This is a Craig brand router bit. It's a quarter inch standard bead bit. You can see it right there. It's for putting a decorative trim on a piece of wood. And one of my hobbies is doing woodworking, mainly in the realm of home improvement. I live in an old 1870s Greek Revival farmhouse, and it needs updating, and I like to keep things kind of period looking. So last summer I bought a bunch of things related to my router table and doing kind of decorative trim work like this, and I ended up with two of these, and I didn't need them. So I put this one up for $18. So if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I like Crocs and sell quite a few of them. This is one here. It's nothing too special. It's just a one and a half quart Croc. It's probably from the early 1900s is my guess. It's in very good shape. No issues with it whatsoever. It's kind of a pantry or preserved Croc. It wouldn't have had a lid on this. People I think pick these up for decorative purposes for their kitchens or for pantries. This one here came in a lot of just some random primitives. I didn't pay too much for it, probably 10 bucks for the whole lot of things. The croc wasn't really the uh, gem of that lot, it was just uh, kind of the extras. Put this one up for $55 and I took a best offer of $35 on it. This is an antique, kind of figural Victorian woman wine stopper. Cork's been replaced. Uh, Good amount of wear to it. This isn't real silver, just uh, some sort of metal. It might have been silver coated at one time. Nice piece. Sold it twice. The lady bought it from me originally right after I listed it, and then she ended up returning it. I had three of these and she, different ones, and she bought the uh, all of them, and then returned this one, saying that she thought it was damaged. I got it back, and I couldn't find any damage on it. She was saying the face looked like it was smushed. I think it was just the style. Anyhow, I put it back up, and it sold again. This time here, it sold for $29.95, and it's going off to Australia. This is a UMass Amherst embroidered black cap, baseball cap. There's about three colleges within a mile of me here. There's UMass Amherst, Amherst College, and Hampshire College. So a lot of this collegiate stuff is floating around here, easy to come by. This here I found actually in the middle of the street. I was just driving my daughter off to school, so hats like these can be found just cast to the side of the road here. Picked it up, it was in very clean, like it had just fallen off someone's head a moment ago. And I sold this one here for $20. These are Canon retail store dealer display stands. Each of these has two actually, so there's six total. There's a large one and a small one, and you'd put these on a shelf with a Canon camera on it, and I got these at, you guessed it, the camera auction that I went to about a year ago now. One of my best hauls ever, pretty much. I got a lot of stuff there, and it still continues to sell to this day, but I don't really have much of it left. I had about a couple dozen of these that I put up as sets, and these I put up for $15 a piece, and somebody just came in and bought three of them, so pretty nice sale. This is a large 60 inch by 75 inch piece of blue indigo batik cotton fabric. Uh, got a really great design to it. It's really good clean condition. I got this at an auction where I bought a whole table of kind of vintage fabrics. And a lot of it was from somebody's travels across the world. They were, I guess they were in the Peace Corps or something and they bought fabrics in the 60s and 70s. So it was all really interesting stuff. Some stuff from Africa, some stuff some from the Philippines, and a lot of it was labeled. They had these little uh, labels tacked into them that she had written where she got it from and what it was. So she did a lot of the work for me, which was really nice. And I've sold some of those pieces for up to $400. So I paid $60 for this whole table of fabric, and it's just been a really great auction. This piece here sold for $75. This is a vintage kind of chrome silver tone tie pin. It's shaped like a submarine. I thought it was really, really cool. I buy a lot of tie pins at auctions and kind of jewelry lots. Tie pins and cufflinks. They sell really well. They're kind of a little bit on the long tail, but they're unique. if they're unique enough, people will find them and pick them up and buy them. And 
Typically, I get a, between $15 to $30 for tie pins. And this one here, I put up for $22.95. It's been up since the summer, and it finally sold.